Throughout the turmoil that rocked Egypt earlier this year, the army made one powerful promise. It pledged not to fire on the protesters. In return, they were hailed as heroes. Hundreds of thousands of people poured out onto the streets in early February, encouraged by the military's support for their demands and assurances that troops would not turn against them. However, now that the army is in charge, many people fear their hard-won revolution is in danger. Working with citizen journalists in Cairo, Channel 4 News has gathered powerful testimony from protesters who accuse the army of serious human rights abuses. John Sparks has this special report. The dictator has gone, replaced by the generals and a military council. They've promised Egypt a new beginning. But two months later, some are losing faith. Allegations of torture, beatings and sham trials are starting to circulate. Victims and their families now speaking out. Many allegations centre on two separate days in Cairo last month, the first of which is the 6th of March. Protesters gather outside the interior police building in the city centre. There's talk of state security officers destroying files inside, evidence of abuse committed by the previous regime. Our material has been provided by local journalists and filmmakers, and they capture the shock, the surprise, when shots are fired. <laughs> Protesters say the military turned on them. It's something it promised it wouldn't do. Civil rights groups like Human Rights Watch say dozens of people were beaten and detained that night. Among them is a 27-year-old called Ahmed Ibrahim. His family have seen him once in the last month at his military trial. His mother managed to speak to him. The Ibrahims are trying to find their son. He's in prison, but no one seems to know where. Ahmad was sentenced to two years for possessing a weapon, but his father says the army made it all up. Still, it's what happened on the 9th of March in and around the Egyptian Museum that's causing greater concern. A crowd gathers on the edge of Tahrir Square. A fight has broken out in front of the museum. Soldiers and plainclothes officers emerge. They charge into the center of the square, targeting the pro-democracy campaigners and their encampment. Using batons and sticks, they force the protesters out of their tents, and then they rip them down. Some protesters say they were taken back to the museum that day, but they weren't there to see the exhibits. Protesters say this famous institution had been turned into a torture chamber. Khaled Yaris is 21 years old. He says he was badly beaten inside the Egyptian museum. These pictures were taken later as he recovered in hospital. Khaled Yari says he feels betrayed by the army. He says he loved and trusted them. It's all been too much for his mother. <laughs> 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 
And there are allegations that children and minors have been tortured and detained. The parents of a 16-year-old boy told us their son went missing on the 9th of March. Mansoura Eladli would later find her son in a prison cell. He told her he'd been to the Egyptian Museum. Her son has received a three-year sentence for possession of explosives. His father says that's absurd. His boy didn't participate in the protests. Human rights groups told us they believe a significant number of young people, including children, have been detained by the army. We've confirmed that at least four children have been tried and sentenced by military courts. We believe that there are a further at least 21 children who are in detention in military camp. Unhappiness with military rule is growing in Egypt. This the scene last Friday as protesters filled Tahrir Square. Two months ago, the armed forces were hailed as heroes when they refused to fire on protesters, but allegations of torture and abuse have damaged the army's credibility. Denied access to Egyptian state media, protesters have turned to the internet to get their message across, posting video and lurid accounts of their experiences online. The army has been forced to respond. In an interview, the chief of military police, Major General Hamdi Badin, said testimonies and video alleging torture by the military were totally false and could have been fabricated in a variety of ways. However, an Egyptian government spokesman told us that times have changed. All serious complaints will be investigated. The army will definitely investigate it, and if proven correct, it will be subjected to the proper course of law. There is no way that the Supreme Military Council in Egypt will tolerate any kind of impunity. Even if it involves members of the armed forces? Even if it's going to be involving members of the armed forces, because the age of impunity is over. The military has promised a transition to democracy, but many Egyptians worry they've swapped one oppressive regime for another. For those who've been beaten or detained in military prisons, the Arab Spring has brought little reward.